All right, we want to make more. Oh, we didn't pick up the cotton from before. Maybe that's why I couldn't make it. Wow, look at all this cotton we're making. Goodness. Okay. Here we go. Finally. Make the wizard hat. Yes. Oh, uh, no. This is overriding. No gameplay effect. Can I, like... Oh man, I want to have my wizard hat. Wizard hat's better than unicorn horn. Wow, we got 19 amber? Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna go without the horn for a little while, and then when I get tired of the wizard hat, I'll switch. Sparkles are overpowering. So, a refinable block takes that. Straw. Oh, look! Wheat gives you straw blocks. So, even though it's not a quest, should we go ahead and make... Let's go ahead and fix up dude's house. I'm not OCD, but, you know, dude should actually have, like, a legit house again. That's right. We're going to be a good virtual Samaritan... And help these people out. I like how one thing of wheat over here gives me two straw blocks. That seems a little OP. Alright, how many straw blocks do we have? 16. That's pretty good, I would think. We still have three wheat left over. And we could probably go ahead and replant some stuff too. While I'm thinking about it. Um... Can I make my own stuff somewhere? Oh yeah, look at my cool wizard hat. I hope they have dyes so I can like change the color of my stuff. All right, let's see here, cotton seeds. I wanna just put cotton seeds. Let's just go ahead and one, two. We'll probably be coming back to the mailbox a couple times in the future. We're just going to line his entire perimeter with cotton. And, uh... Does he have room for, like... How did he get, like, a fence and stuff to have, like, his own little dedicated little garden area? I want to do that. Let's see. I guess I'm going to put some wheat back here. Oh, look, there's already one right there. Two, three, four, five, six. Man, I can't even tell, like, how it looks so different. I'm guessing this is it right here. That's hard to see. I'm okay with this. Don't tell them how sea lanterns are made or the saga of a straw will involve dragon shards or other crazy. So what all did I miss before I hopped in? How's your Saturday going? You didn't miss much. I just made a character and I did a mine. I did like two quests. I went to mine and I went to the bottom of the tower. I think you popped in right around the tower time, maybe a little bit after. And uh, my Saturday's going pretty nice. Thank you for asking. I got no complaints right now. Life's pretty good. Birthday's coming up soon. I, um, I'm going to see if I can't crowdsource to offset the cost for the uh, Elgato um, capture card that I got that I went ahead and ordered. So that's kind of like what I'm shooting for for my birthday. Uh, we'll see how that ends up panning out. Um, did I put down a dirt block? Or... <laughs> I was like, that does not look like straw. I know sometimes I have trouble with my decorations, but... Uh... <laughs> yeah. 
That was great. We're going to need a lot more straw to pull this off. This might be a lengthier project than I had anticipated. They were trying to go for the green roof. <laughs> Very eco-friendly. You know, there are dirt houses. They like an adobe thing. Or earth house where it's built into the ground some. Like a hobbit house. See, the Bagginses is we're onto something. And all the hobbits in the village. Oh, thanks very much for the uh, follow there, TTV Bamba Moit. Probably butchered your name like crazy. But yes, I appreciate it. All right, we're going to need a lot more of the, um, the wheat if we're going to try to make this work. Do I have any more wheat seeds? I got emerald tree seeds. Spring tree seeds. So got some cotton. Bush seeds. Huh, I have like 17 alabaster bush seeds. Alabaster. It's almost like Greenbow Alabama. Alabaster bush seeds. Huh. I don't know what I'm going to do with these bones. They're an ingredient for something. And I picked up a gray rat somehow in the dungeon. Underneath the tower. Go figure that one out. So yeah, we can make 10 more blocks with the wheat that we have, but we don't have any more seeds because we we did good and we planted all of them. Yeah, they got some fancy sounding stuff in here. All right, we might have to uh, return here after we are sure that all this has grown up. I think this is this is grown up, but I'm not positive. I gotta learn how planting works in this game some more. But we will slowly work on repairing his house. I think. There we go. Let's take some of his gold. <sighs> like a dull star of marble tree. So if I'm not supposed to like repair this stuff, because it doesn't give me any option to repair, I'm guessing I can just take it. I'm getting just regular wood blocks back. And this doesn't have any option to repair either, so we're just gonna... I like how that three block wide structure just turned into just one block. Okay, can we upgrade this? How do we upgrade this to a second workbench? Wood logs and copper ore. Hmm. I haven't seen any copper ore yet. Even in the mine, I don't think I saw something that was a copper ore. So, what's this? Five just means five different things that I can make. Oh, look at all these different things here. We can have a furnace to smelt some ores, but I don't have any ores yet, so it's kind of like, what's the point? Ten blocks and eight, or sorry, three wood logs. Does it let you make furniture? That's a good question. I'm going to make another sharpening stone while I'm in here. We can make a fireplace for them. Sure, why not? Let's make a fireplace. Here you guys go. I'm going to make this a little more cheerier for you. I'd laugh if I put this down and it, like, causes their house to set on fire. <laughs> I really should, like, have something cool. There obviously is a way to make windows, but I don't know how to do that yet. Probably that second workbench is where you start getting some of the neat things. Maybe I should punch this window out and make the fireplace there with the stone that I have. I can just like take over this people's, these people's houses. Yeah, fire spread is on. Great fun. Like, what do you mean Exum's house is burning down all over again? And there must be a way to get stone block to turn into stone brick block because uh, yeah, that would make a lot of sense. So yeah, let's just see what happens. We're gonna we're gonna put this down. 
Holy brightness, Batman. That makes a big difference. Can't do anything with it, though. Can't interact with it. Hmm. Alright, I'm sure the game will tell us a little bit more as we progress. I think as far as tutorial mode goes, maybe it's waiting for me to hit level 2 before it gives me another um, a thing to do. So let's go find... Let's go find some stuff to beat up. Like this emerald parrot! We got an egg. I ate the last egg I got. These orange slimes are beefier. Oh, heck yeah. Ooh, we're so close to the level, I can taste it. Uh, let's not start a fight right next to a bunch of slimes. Let's go over here and pick on this bird. Did I not get XP for killing the bird? There it is. Level two. Hey, more cotton. And more mushrooms. Kind of want to have a cooler wand. It takes forever to kill these guys. Oh, sweet. You can actually just hold down the left mouse button to just have them keep swinging. I'll stop clicking. <laughs> Alright, distribute your skill points in the character menu. C. Alright, let's uh, pull that up. Looks safe at the moment. All right, we got three attribute points. Let's go with uh, each point in intelligence increases the damage of your magical attacks. Well, let's go with that. All three points right in there. We got to have stuff. Choose a talent. Um, increase damage dealt with staffs by 25% or wands 25% or there's even size. That's interesting. What if, I, what if I don't know what I want just yet? I've only ever used a wand. What if I want to switch the staffs? And beat people up over the head with it. What's down here? Man and shield, frost armor. So all the way down to 30. Can't even read what's down here yet. They like make it so you can't read it. Huh. Um, I guess for now, we'll go with wands. Increases damage dealt by 25%. So I should be like a total badass now. Because we got three points in intelligence, which raises my damage, and then we picked up one specialization for 25% more damage. Alright. Hey, here's some here's some wheat. Some more straw blocks for the house. So I continue to make a base. Of sorts. Alright, this stuff has to be grown by now. Like. Oh, that's what it looks like when it's grown. There we go. So, yeah, there's like just a little bit of flowers, and then there's the actual cotton. And then, uh, let's see, we got baby wheat, wheat without anything on there, and then we've got like the tall looking wheat right here. So, yeah, let's. Let's harvest some of this stuff up. I like how I damaged a block underneath too. Like, whoops. But Momo, you'll probably laugh because I've been watching um, a lot of TV here lately. I, uh, I started watching Star Trek The Next Generation. I've seen a lot of the episodes, but I know that I haven't seen every episode. 
So I'm watching them all in order, and I'm in season three. I think about halfway done with season three, or close. Oh, that was baby wheat? That's why I just got a wheat seed. Ah. The struggle is real. Yeah, and then when that gets done, um, I'm going to watch every episode of The X-Files. Because again, seen a lot of them, haven't seen them all. And then I found out that they recently, um, a couple years ago, like 2010, 2011, or right, right about there, they um, they actually did an X-Files reboot. And they did two more seasons of X-Files. I had no idea about that. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. What I said. Surprise face. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now it's really easy to see my wheat coming in over here. So just uh, plant one right there. And right there. Okay. So that's done. And we have um, some more cotton to plant, as well as harvest cotton. I don't really know what I'm going to be using a bunch of cotton for at this point, but it's here. And uh, it's kind of like, why not? Oh, crap. That. We got to make sure we pay attention here. Okay. I'm slowly going to move the cotton to just being around the house. And we'll save that big platform for the um, wheat that I'm going to plant. Because to me, that makes more sense. We're going to have to level all this out. Let's get rid of this. You never really watched X-Files? What? Yes, you should check it out sometime, Momo. It's actually pretty good. Alright, there we go. We managed to take out all of that. Put some more cotton down. All right. Man, I feel like I'm going to have tons of cotton and uh, straw stuff here soon. Let's go see how many more straw blocks we can make so we can continue repairing the roof. I don't even know if I need to use the workbench for this, but... Um... Oh, you can queue it all up and then it actually is trying to make it right now. <laughs> it's going to take a little while to make 20 blocks. Yeah, fire spreads off or else it would be doomed. We wouldn't have a house here anymore. Yay! All right, 20 blocks. All ready to go. No, that's all I could do. Okay. Let's uh, go back here in my inventory. 20 blocks. Let's go over here because I know I can climb up on these to get onto the top of the house. All right, back in here to our first person view. Oh snap, that just went right there. But I actually think that's supposed to go there. They have like a little bit of an overhang. All right, there we go, and uh, I guess we'll just um, figure this thing out. Well, that's it for now. We're getting there, slowly but surely. We are repairing this guy's house. This nice old sweet, sweet couple. The fire actually does pretty nice in here as far as like uh, the lighting effects. I like it. I'm glad I put a fireplace in. Ho ho ho. Alright, um, we harvested and made wheat. We can do the cotton now, too. So we can just... How much we can get. Oh, okay. That was short-lived. Not a whole lot. So yeah, I can't even, like, make a staff right now. Okay, I was hoping that at level 1, or sorry, level 2, they'd tell me a little bit more. So, it should be a little easier to kill, guys. 
Let's see, are we ready to harvest? Oh. Well, I was gonna say that's like run, but I'm really evading. <laughs> I thought I was gonna run like super fast. Okay. Um maybe I should just pick a point and go explore. Look at this floating dirt. They have like floating dirt islands. What? Anything else in my, my cool mailbox? Nope. Alright, let's um Well we're doing tens instead of sevens. This is going much better. Reaching the next level is not going to be a problem. I feel like I'm just like straight up slaughtering all these slimes. This is great. How this doesn't even like use mana. Like you could just sit here and just swing your wand all day. Where am I gonna get like some legit spells? I'm a mage, damn it. That evade is so sweet. Just kinda like let me just do some backflips to get out of here. on the slabs. Working on getting my level three. Oh, we're halfway there. And then I'm hoping that maybe my guy will learn how to make some more stuff. Too far, but not anymore. There's like a ton of slimes in here. Doesn't take any mana at all. This is hilarious. Evade! Alright, go up here. At least we're getting a lot of ingredients from slimes, like the water. Although I made a million potions, it feels like. Oh, he has like a charge attack that he just did? That's cool. Oh, when I leveled up, I must have got another heart. I just realized I have four hearts now instead of just three. Let's eat a berry. Oh, the starter weapon does, doesn't use any mana, but the more powerful weapons will. Cool. Thanks very much for the tip, disabled gamer. Welcome to my stream, by the way. All right, let's see here. Yeah, that's my first time playing. Decided I would check out Portal Knights. Is that my landing pad area or does that look slightly different? What is that? Oh, yeah. that is definitely the landing pad. All right, where do we want to go from here? I guess we'll check out stuff over here. Some more of these mushrooms. Man, there's like all kinds of things in here. So yeah, disabled gamer, I've um, done the people quests around here right now. So I'm just kind of chugging along, waiting for it to tell me like what I need to do next. So I figured I'd go explore and murder things. 
because XP is always a good thing to have in any game. And I'm assuming the tutorial is going to give me more to do here when I hit the next level. Oh, did I? Yeah, okay. Murdered. Oh yeah, give me all the goodies. Sweet. We are almost the next level. It's very close. And there's more slimes up here. Guess we'll go up here too. I'm not even gonna bother evading. I'm like, oh, there it is, level up! Level three! We made it! All right, so let's put in more damage. Although, uh, mana's gonna become a thing eventually. Let's put one there. Any new talents? Not till level five. Can I switch this around? Oh, hey, that's cool. You can actually, like, if I do find out that I like the staffs, I can switch it. Okay, that's legit. That's cool. All right, let's see here. Just kind of keep hugging around the very outside. I did generate a very large world, so we got that going for us. Some of the blocks and stuff like this kind of remind me of Dragon Quest Builders for the uh, Nintendo Switch. Hope maybe I can find something pretty cool out here. Dude just blows up. Sure, let's go down here and get the goodies. Hey, Blue, what's up, buddy? Yeah, man, I'm trying Portal Knights out. Um, I did the demo on the Switch, which the demo didn't last very long. So I decided I was going to go ahead and get Portal Knights. It was on sale. I think it was on sale. I waited for it to be on sale on Steam. And then I uh, picked it out. Momo's in here, as you can see. I <laughs> wonder if I like wand the tree down or if you have to pickaxe stuff or harvest by hand. <laughs> I'm gonna burn down the forest! So those yellow cubes are XP blocks. So I'm gonna make sure I always pick those up after a fight. So wait a minute, that means that not everybody drops experience. Unless I'm missing something. Lots of streamers compare this game to Minecraft or Dragon Quest Builders. It's definitely like a blend of the two so far. I've played Minecraft for years. Ah, oh, Blue, you've been playing Nintendo Switch, huh? Lots of Smash, Mario Kart, and Final Fantasy VII. Ooh, you got Final Fantasy VII on the Switch. It's very tempting. It's like 15 bucks. And uh, I was like, ooh, best Final Fantasy game ever. Should I get it for the Switch? Should I, should I, should I? Uh, haven't done it yet. I've definitely given some thought, though. I might. I don't know. Final Fantasy VII is my favorite Final Fantasy game by far, followed by 10. And then probably 9. Hey, there's a fence here. We're taking it! 
We're taking all this fence. I don't know how to make fence yet, but we're gonna steal fence. Best games are the ones that other people buy and you can play when they're not around. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is emerald tree seed. Okay, so these are emerald trees. This doesn't look fully grown. Still gave me stuff for it though. That's a pretty sweet deal. I'll let other people buy the games for you. Yeah, we're gonna take all of this fence and we're gonna move it somewhere. You've only fully completed 4, 8, and 13. You got close on 7, 9, and 10. Okay. Oh, there's actually a sign here. What's it say? Those who plant kindness gathered love. John the Gardener. Even if I knew the world would fall to pieces tomorrow, I'd still plant my emerald trees. Larry the Lumberjack. Well, Larry the Lumberjack, I kind of did your job for you, home slice. Now there are no more emerald trees. <laughs> They're mine now! And he is nowhere to be seen. We do not know where he is. Hopefully the slimes didn't get him. Larry! There's butterflies in the world. They're floating around. I don't know if I might be able to get a bug net later on. That'd be kind of cool if they let you do that. A parrot! Get him! Oh, cool. He gave me an egg. Oh, good. Lots of stuff to fight here. Let's do it. He left the sign. Maybe he had other things to do. Maybe he had to take a vacation. Maybe he was sick. You know, I wonder if I should just start digging down and maybe that's how I can find some copper ore. The little mine shaft they gave you in the beginning of the game doesn't really have much. Oh, hey, wait a minute, that's new. What's this guy got going on? You think 10, 13, and 7 are your top faves? You really enjoyed 13? I didn't have 7 until years after it came out when other games looked and played a bit better. Yeah, that's true. I really wish... That every, dude, the... The fan base for Final Fantasy VII has been asking for a remake from, um, oh goodness, from Square for like forever now. It's a portal capable of teleporting you to other islands such as this one. It's ancient, made from very powerful magic. And these blue portal stone to activate it. You can make them if you find enough blue portal stone shards. Once you have enough, you can put them inside the portal. Will you help me? I've seen only one person leave by way of this portal and have yet to see anybody return. Are you sure it's worth the risk? Well, we have already made four portal stones. We have been preparing for this moment. We have seven of them, actually. I didn't say I was going to go through it, Momo. I know there's still the roof. Still got to work on the dude's roof. All right, so... Okay, so that's the solid one already. So we need one there. And there. There. And here we go. What will happen? The portal is opened! Be wary of the invading wrath. My wand out. Rupert! What have you done? Are you going to tell me anything that's worth knowing? No, you're not. Useless. Do we dare go through the portal? Let's say you guys. Vote now! Do we continue to derp around on this island and collect wheat and fix the roof? Or do we say, let's just take a peek on the other side and see what is over there. So, take a peek or stay behind. 
and fix the roof first. While I'm waiting for people to vote, I'm going to go get me some alcohol. So I'll be right back. This is a good time for break. All right. We're back. And uh, refilled. Well, I didn't really refill my water glass. I still had some in there. But the good news is, is that Jack Skellington is my best friend right now. Because he's got two cans of beer in there. <laughs> Ah, yeah. All right, so we're going to go through the portal. Looks like that's how you guys voted. So Blue said yes, and Momo said, hey, go on the other side of that thing and get some better blocks. And maybe, <clears throat> that's right, I refilled another glass, and maybe, Momo, we can get the technology to build windows because they still have that um, window that is not a window. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Let's walk through the portal. Here we go. We got our wand at the ready. Warping to Dusty Junction. Oh, I just got some steam achievements. I'm a traveler and a fledgling. You guys can't see that, but that just happened. All right, here we go. Apparently it's taking a while to generate the world because we haven't been over there yet. And warp me there. Oh, you can move your mouse and it kind of like moves your vision a little bit when you're going through the portal. Oh, no wonder they call it Dusty Junction. I'm in the freaking desert. Those are some weird looking cacti. Oh my gosh, even my guy's like, what the hell is going on? I think there's a zoom function. Look at this. He's like, he's like, we're in the desert now. What is going on here? That's, that's his face right there. <laughs> All right. There's a spectral apparition awaiting my, my presence here. It's just right here as soon as I warp in. All right, let's go see what this, what this thing wants. Greetings, I am a friend, a spectral knight, as we call ourselves. It's over 9,000. <laughs> Once I protected Elysia from harm. Elysia? I guess that's how you say that. Elysia from harm? Now, thanks to the Hollow King, I am but a shadow of its past. It is your destiny to succeed where I failed. Hone your skills, explore, and survive. Be forewarned! Two great beasts stand between you and your destiny. Each can be reached only by a special portal unlocked by a unique totem. Okay, so this guy screwed up. He wasn't cool enough. And now it's my job to pick up the slack. This sounds like the corporate world. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what happens if we try to harvest some things. What is this? We get the, hey, it's Jack Skeleton's with us in spirit, too. Because now we get to run around the desert and be like, what is this? What is this? And you harvest it all. Red Rock. The Spectral Knights were added in the 1.3 update. Okay. Good to know. So that wasn't something that was originally with the game. Huh. All right, Momo's freaking out about red rock. You want you want this rock right here? Let's find out what this is. This is obviously taking a hot minute to pick up. What did we get here? A runestone block. All right, I already got one of those. Are you wondering about like this stuff? The sand straight ahead on the ground. Oh, oh, straight ahead on the ground. Not the block. Not the block. I'm confused. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm going to stand perfectly still. And I think you're telling me... Okay, here we go. Where do I go from here? There's a goblin down there. Oh, snap. He's coming this way. Oh, right. You're red weak. That right in front. Oh, the gemstone thing's right. Let me not hit the inventory button. Tink, tink, tink. We got a flame ruby! Wait a minute, there's more in here. Tink, tink, tink some more. Now we have two flame rubies. Alright, let's make sure we can get back out of here. I don't know how far down these rubies are going to take me, but uh, I want all of them. Wait, maybe it's on the side. Oh, it is on the sides. Okay. So, there's gems. Can 
Can't tell if I picked that up or not. I didn't get a sound. Let's deal with this goblin guy before he, like, rips my face off. When I'm, like, derping around getting rubies. Die! Oh, yeah, he's much tougher than a slime. We might have to do some evasion. I need, to, I need to be able to poke him from above. Yeah! Run away! This dude is gonna take forever to kill. He's only like down like 20%. He is regenerating. He can't get me up here though, so that's a that's a good thing. But I got to damage him quicker because he he regenerates his health. Oh, oh, he he's almost dead! There it is! He has died. We can't damage the sand shell with the wand. Okay, I'm cool with that. Oh, oh snap. It's a turtle. It's a turtle. He's mean. Uh, is it because I'm hitting his shell that he is immune? I have to hit him in the face. Let's go. Take it to the face. How kind of a shell attack is that? Oh god. Let's hope he never meets the Mario Brothers and Koopas. Because that that's one hell of a, a shell attack. Look at that! Oh yeah. Die! Uh, oh yeah. That's some XP right there. That was a pretty long fight. We were going to need some more levels. Definitely going to need some more levels. What the hell am I going to do with all these rubies? There's rubies everywhere! Thank you, Momo. It's my thought, too. All right. Um, let's, let's, um, let's get this guy right here. This is a really big plant. Aloe vera? Nope, just desert fruit. Okay. Let's grab some desert fruit. And then we'll try and chop down a cactus and see what we get. This is obviously a big cactus. Cactus seed and some water. Okay. We need to get up high and look around. We got a portal. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll keep going. Oh, uh, there's another goblin guy. There's two goblin guys. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna do the same thing here. Death from above, people. Can they get up here? I think I'm pretty safe. We're on a three tall cliff. Attack! He's trying to damage the block. Either that or that was me that was damaged. Get him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, you know what? If your buddy's not going to join in, we will take you on. One-on-one, -on -one, bro. That's right. Fight me. Fight me one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Seriously, need better weapons. Wow, he's got like the slowest swing speed ever. Look at that. It's like, I bet when it, when he hits you though, it's probably like wrecks like three hearts at once. I am gonna need a base soon because, look, I'm running out of inventory space very slowly, but it is happening. They haven't even told me how to make a chest yet. How am I so? You gotta ha look. You guys know who you're talking to. I'm like the mega pack rat when it comes to stuff like this. I'm gonna need to learn how to make some chests. All right, there's another goblin guy over there. Definitely. Oh, snap! What? Sandworms? What is this, dude? Get out of here! Magma maggots! That was a surprise. Get him! Dodge his acid spit! Actually, he's magma, so it's probably like flames or something. Man, getting like ambushed. <laughs> Danger noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Danger noodles. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Hey, there's a person over there. There's a girl or something. Let's go let's go check this out. What's what's her deal? This is Oof, the adventurer. How else do you say U L V? 
All right, man, they better have some freaking jack-o'-lanterns in this game. I'm going to write bad reviews. All right, here we go. Um, let's talk. The weather is splendid for a hike. <laughs> Couldn't agree with you more as long as I got water. All right, disable gamer chimes. The chests are made on the workbench using copper ore and wood logs. Thank you for that. That is good to know that I will eventually have that. Um, where do you get copper ore from? There's treasure everywhere, but not so many places to spend it thanks to the Hollow King. Look under the ruins if you're bold enough. Under the ruins. Okay, so I guess this is the ruins. And there's no door. But you want me to look underneath them, so okay, I'll bite. Oh, I think my stuff is red on the bottom for my hotbar because I need to use the, um, the repair sharpening stone. I think I totally missed out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys gotta... Oh, you might can't see that very well. I gotta, like, redo my, uh... My, um... Twitch overlay here, since it's cutting into my hotbar. Alright, let's see here. Uh, sharpening stone. Let's make another one of these. Actually, we'll, we'll use two more. Because I need to use one now. Because this stuff's... Well, I guess I could kind of wait, but my pickaxe kind of sucks. Eh. Let's just use one. There we go. All right. Let's see what is underneath the ruins. Well, at least it's sand. This is like, you know, super easy to pull up. Give me a little staircase down here. Hey, is there physics? If I take out the bottom block, does everything fall? I didn't even try to look. Oh, I guess not, because that would have fell. All right. I can do too high. That's not a big deal. Well, we're already smashing stuff. There's a chest in here. What? All right, let's break all the pots and get all the money. And the XP, apparently. What? Yeah, whoo! All right. Let's open it up. I got XP and minor mana potions. Hey, wait a minute. This is a chest. It turned into stone blocks. Are you kidding me right now? It didn't even give me a chest back. How dare you give me your raw components? Actually, it's not even the raw components because I can't turn that around and make another one. Hey, welcome back, Cypher Lynx. Bradley, I assume. What is this? Uh, doesn't look like anything special because it doesn't light up for me. Let's get some more rubies. I have a feeling these rubies are going to come and be important at some point in time. Totally chilling with this desert music in the background. Can you guys hear the, the music okay? I actually like jacked my um, volume down big time. I'll give this a little bit more music volume in there. Oh, you about to go live? That's cool. The orange ones are copper. What? That was copper? Oh, <gasps> we have found copper ore. Oh, it's on now. I want all the copper. Give me. Oh, yeah. Who's got himself some copper now? This guy. Man, when we go back, we're going to have to make the furnace so we can smelt this ore. So, now we have rubies and some copper. I feel like I'm accomplishing things now. Instead of just fixing people's roofs. <gasps> that that just happened. So what did I lose? Half my life, half my mana. I had a hundred something gold in the corner. Oh, I still have some. Do I still get to keep all the things I had collected? I guess we can go ahead and eat some of these berries real quick. Well, that was an interesting death. Yeah, I still have the copper. Yeah, it looks like everything is in here okay. I wonder if you take an XP hit when you die. Hmm. That was a quick way home, though. Alright, so... 
We're still in the desert. We went back to the landing pad here in the desert. How do I get back? I guess I just hit M and travel back. Travel. Oh, I missed it. Sorry, I didn't catch that in time. We'll get it when we get back, though. We're going to see what we can make real quick, visit the house, and try to get a chest made. Yeah, we're going to try to get a chest made so I can start storing some of these things I'm finding. Alright, back to the Squire's Knoll! I need to be able to make a landing pad so I can put this thing where I really want it to go. <clears throat> you want to say it regens as well? What? The health or the mana? Both? I got more bad guys in here now. There's a, there's a skeleton over there with a sword. He wasn't here before. Hollow Knight of Frost! We must do battle! Here, I'll come down so you can try to get me. Let's fight! Oh gosh. Slimes be sneaking up on me. Lying in wait, ready to ambush. They're tactical creatures. Oh, I'd rather play RPGs. Welcome to the stream! Appreciate you chiming in with some advice. So both regenerate over time. Good to know! I just started playing this today. Well, the real version. I got the demo and played it on the Switch a while back. And I was like, oh, this is actually a pretty cool game. Reminds me of Minecraft and um, um, Dragon Quest Builders a bit. Man, he like, he goes quick. Kick this butt, though. Yeah. Emerald Parrot trying to be sneaky. I heard him flapping over here. Resources only after reset, after map reset. So I'd rather play RPGs. What happens when you die? Is there a penalty for death? Because I fell, I fell through the world a moment ago. <laughs> Exum wants to know what happens if you die, if it's really bad or not. It looks like I kept all my items and stuff. Too slow. Alright, where's the... here we go. Man, there's like a bazillion of these things everywhere. Keep fighting like this, I'm gonna level up in no time. What? <laughs> right on cue. Yeah, the knights are new. They weren't there before. You do a lot more coin, higher the cost. Okay, because it did flash up my coins real quick, so I think I lost two coins, but I'm not positive. I had 104, I think, and now I'm at 102. Oh, yeah. All right, so here we go. Um... Let's go in here and mess with the workbench and stuff first. So we needed um, six copper ore and a bunch of wood logs. Copper ore. Why do you not like me right now? Uh, let's level up that. All right, cool. Talents, nothing new. <sighs> You're short on ore. You have six out of eight. This is why I keep you around, Momo. You make sure that I know how to count. <laughs> ah, so we have to go back and get... Yeah, we have exactly six. Day and enemies change. Oh, cool. Hollow Knights only show up at night and only start to show up after you open the first portal. Okay, so there's some diversity depending on time of day and uh, what you've done in the area. Sweet. I can definitely uh, get behind this. All right, so we actually have a fence now. So we can plant a section for my uh, copper. And we've got this very large door I salvaged from underneath the tower. So maybe I can put this in my fenced-in area. We're going to try to make it work. We're going to try to do some building in this game and see how it turns out. 
and uh, we can go harvest some more wheat so we can repair the uh, old people's structure. All right, let's see. Head on over here. And let's see. We don't need sand blocks right now. We want cotton seeds and wheat seeds. Yeah. All right, let's get this cotton out of here. I'm trying to get all the cotton out. I love how I'm just like all haphazard with my pickaxe, banging on the ground, banging on these people's fences. <laughs> oh no, that's baby wheat! Oh, I did it again. That is, this is all little, little wheat. I think this is, I think this one's okay. Or was that baby wheat too? No, that was baby wheat too! Ah! Oh, they do stuff like this to mess with me. They're like, Exum, we know you're not gonna be able to tell the difference between stage one and two of wheat, so we're just gonna make your life difficult. Break the boxes next to the house for building blocks. Sweet, okay. I was using these to get onto the top of the roof. Because I've been repairing their um, their roof. I've been putting the straw back in. All right, let's plant. Oh, let's go around and get all the cotton. We already got all the wheat done. That's not even ready yet. I don't have the big... Um... Oh, goodness! What are you trying to do, parrot? You're trying to give me a heart attack. Oh yeah, trouble with it too. I'd rather play RPGs. Yeah. Takes a little while to get used to it. All right. Oh, you can actually like rotate with Q. That's kind of nice. That'll come in handy later. All right. More cotton. I'm guessing I have to stay on a world in order for it to uh, actually have the plants grow. Because I was on the other one for a little while. Oh, I'm out of, um, I'm out of seeds. <laughs> okay. So we started to put my wheat farm over here. And I guess since I'm going to harvest it all, I kind of wish, like, the regular grass would go away. Oh, that was all baby. Oh, no! I wasn't paying attention. I can move it now, though. On the bright side. You know, considering I just completely jacked all that up. <laughs> Plants on tilled. So can you actually, like, till the ground so that you don't have this grass? Do I have dirt blocks? What happens if I put down some dirt blocks? Because it looked like it had grass on there before. Oh, if you have a hoe. I don't have a hoe. Oops, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> well, that's good to know. I'm going to have to switch over to that using a hoe. All right, we're just going to extend, extend all this out some. It's good use of my dirt. Really? I love how I just like, every once in a while I just get like the odd, why can't we put one there? What is going on? That's really weird. We'll figure that out in a moment. Is it because there's a flower on this block? What's going on? We're just gonna wreck it. No, well, there are blocks. Weed seeds. I gotta make sure I make a make a point to not walk over where I'm digging up since I don't so I don't fall through the world again. That sucked. Completely distracted me from what I was trying to do.
Okay. So we used up a lot of our dirt. Kind of lopsided platform at the moment, but it is what it is. There's just still some from over here. <laughs> it's like working in the yard in real life. Need some dirt? No probs! I feel like it takes longer to get dirt in this game. But in any, it might be because I'm using a pickaxe to, to get dirt, which doesn't really work very well. Oh, if you put a block under you? Oh, of course. I make this realization when I'm not carrying a block. All right, so let's say for right now, let's just put some wheat in here so I can at least get something growing. Where's my fence? All right. No. Must connect. I haven't missed much. I'm just having fun with my makeshift farm building skills. Doesn't even look like it attaches. That's why the other person's farm didn't go out like that. <laughs> Alright, we're trying to get this to go over here, so... Not in a straight line, but we'll be okay. I got one more fence. Or do I have two fences? I have two. 